Today we're going to talk a little bit about Touchstone version 2.0. We released Touchstone about a year and a half ago, and so far the response from the marketplace has been tremendous. People are excited about the runtimes of their analyses. They can run more analyses more often and faster, and they're also able to get deeper insights into the results. So today we'll talk a little bit about the highlights for version 2.0, which is being released on July 15th. One of the first things that we've done in Touchstone 2.0 is added the new underwriting mode. Now, the un new underwriting mode will streamline the workflow for individual accounts within Touchstone. Within this underwriting mode, you'll be able to easily and quickly add new accounts into Touchstone. Once you've added the new account, you'll land on a new underwriting dashboard. This new underwriting dashboard will give you a high-level view of what's going on with this account. You'll have a, a let's say, an at-a-glance view of all of the key metrics that you need to make an, a, an informed decision. Uh, for example, you'll be able to see all of your hazard guidelines, such as distance to coast, distance to flood zone, or, or distance to fault zone, and, and, and other, a wealth of other hazard data points. You'll also be able to see the results of the uh, loss analysis. So you'll have uh, the average annual loss, standard deviation, and various exceedance probabilities, all within this dashboard, along with other key metrics, such as data quality uh, metrics. Another thing that's new this year is clash analysis. We'll be able to search across the master portfolio to see if you've already underwritten another account that has a location at the exact same address as this account. And this will be helpful to understand whether or not you've been, that you may be overexposed at this one location. Um, finally, we'll take all of this information and encapsulate it in a beautiful PDF report that you can print or download and distribute within your organization. Flexibility is a big buzzword in the industry right now. And so in order to meet people's needs for modifying loss, we've provided functionality in Touchstone version 2.0 that will enable you to take ground up losses and modify those by peril, region, event, and line of business in order for you to see your own view of the risk. In addition to that, we'll continue to maintain the AIR view of risk, which is basically the currency in the industry. This year, we're also providing the ability to evaluate non-catastrophe risks. AIR has access to a tremendous amount of residential and commercial loss cost data for non-catastrophe perils, namely fire from our sister company, ISO. Now, with the same exposure data that you have in Touchstone, using the same workflow that you would normally use for evaluating catastrophe loss analysis, you can also calculate non-cat expected losses for each location and then distribute those losses into excess of loss layers using ISO's piece hold curves. Now this workflow has applicability worldwide, so we also plan to expand these capabilities beyond the US. Touchstone was architected to be an open platform application, and as such, even today, you're able to bring in third-party data layers, whether it's hazard or other shape files, and then you can associate custom damage ratios to those and apply your financial conditions and even reinsurance programs so that you can get a better idea of your exposed risk. So whether it's flood in Australia or a terrorist attack in Indonesia, you're able to see what your potential losses are for modeled or not a modeled countries. Of course, AIR is still a modeling company, so it's not just about the software. And we have some exciting things happening on the modeling front. We're releasing major updates to our US severe thunderstorm model as well as our Canada earthquake model. But perhaps the most noteworthy thing is that we're introducing the industry's first fully probabilistic inland flood model. And this is really going to transform how companies write and manage flood risk. And this is something that we really are excited about. Uh, we're also adding hazard layers for these new models. And that's in addition to the 250 or so layers that we already have in Touchstone's geospatial module, as well as the flood hazard maps that we have for China and Thailand. And so these are some of the things that are coming in Touchstone 2.0 on the modeling front. Well, that wraps up our discussion on Touchstone version 2.0. I hope you enjoyed listening to what we're going to include in the application this time around. We have a lot more functionality that we've put into 2.0. So when you open up your package and read your release notes, you'll see all of the wonderful things that we've um, incorporated into the software. And we have a lot more that we're planning to do in the future. So stay tuned.